I went on vacation for one week and this is what happened to my tank. So we have made it back and there were not any serious casualties in the tank, which is great. Everything is still up and functioning. So yay for that. Huge shout out to my mom for taking care of my tank while I was away. I was gone for like, I don't know, seven, 10 days, something something along those lines. And we, we survived. All the fish are good, so we're, we're good. There were a couple of things that uh, kind of went awry, but uh, that's nobody's fault. It's just things that you would only pick up on if you look at the tank every single day and you take care of the tank so you like, know where things are supposed to be kind of thing. Anyway, so we're, we're gonna take a look at all that. Plus, got in this new little nifty frag rack that I've been waiting for so we could put that in as well. From afar, the tank looks pretty much the same. Uh, there were a couple different things that I noticed when I got back, which I've already kind of corrected them because I didn't wanna like let the problem go on longer. My little Euphelia garden over there kind of dismantled. I had those frog spawn, which I put into the frag rack, they were in the sand. I think they're gonna be just fine. I just have to, uh, you know, glue them back. So they unglued. Luckily, they unglued and they fell to the sand and didn't fall in here and kill all that again. So that's a yay for that. And then I just noticed that that other frog spawn actually fell over as well and is stinging the 24 karat gold. I got a little bit of cyano going on right there. I'm not gonna do anything about that right now, but actually maybe I'll just blow it off. That's pretty much the extent of like the coral falling, which is great. Uh, this torch had spilt over a little bit, but it was leaning against the wall still, so it was fine. And nothing was wrong with that. Blastos, acans looking great. This mushroom kind of swung around a little bit. I also just recently spun this scully around. It's still on the road to recovery. So remember we were doing like every other day feedings with the scully and now it went like a week without getting food. So it's gonna show a little bit of, you know, non-progress, but it's it's still chilling, hanging in there. And I actually just rotated it. One of you guys actually mentioned that would be a good idea to get it away from flow. So thank you for that. Hopefully it helps out a little bit more, speeds up the recovery process. I have gone back to feeding it now every other day. It got a little mixture of, uh, AB plus with refroids the other day, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday maybe. And then I'll, I'm gonna keep on that, you know, trajectory of, of feeding it more consistently to get it to repair quicker. We also have some, if you can't tell here right now, it's real hard to tell, but the, uh, the Tangerine Dreams Acro is getting some color, which I am super pumped about. So it's nice to see that actually uh, not just being a stick popping out of the sand there out of the grass, I mean, you know what I mean, popping out of the rocks. In terms of the frags, you might notice it's a little bit less and that is because we have sold some of them already. So that's great. You know, we saved saved a couple and got them out of here. All the Bam Bams are still good. It does look like the candy canes are making a comeback. They're starting to fluff up a little bit. Purple monsters right over here are looking good as well. I do see a little bit of life coming back into the Jack Lanterns. Um, I'll probably let it ride out for a little bit more and, and see see what happens. I had one more frag of Pink Hippo here that I think I'm gonna pull the plug on as well as a King Midas frag back there. They just have uh, been closed for a while. I've tried to brush them. Not bad for the whole, you know, the tank going really cold and everything. We uh, we did okay. Talking about these razors, you, ever, you know how like, they're not that sharp when you're cleaning the tank and you're like scrubbing and you're like, when is this thing gonna take off the Coraline or whatever? Well, the other day I dropped this from like my hip level and it, hit my leg, I thought I cut an artery. I was bleeding all over the place. It was a small cut, but it did like cut me on the way down. And it's just like, dang, barely skims your skin and it just like freaking slices you right on open. So moral of the story is to be careful. Yeah, look at all that. We're gonna get this guy real clean real quick before we put that little, we don't wanna put the, uh, the frag rack in here without a clean glass because we don't know how long it's gonna be here. Look at how nice that toadstool is there though. It was a really nice, really nice placement. Worked out well. That half looks really good. We'll have to get to this one once we get this frag rack out of here. Let's unbox this guy. Full disclosure, I did take a little peek because, you know, look how cute this thing is. Literally a little bigger than my hand. It fits one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight frags. So this thing is pretty serious, as you can see. And it comes with like little extra felt pads, which I'm assuming are if fat comes off from the glass. So those are good to have.
I guess that's not too bad there. I'm trying to not block the other coral at the same time, like not make it too obvious. So I don't know, we'll see. By the way, guys, we got new tours and coral shipments coming soon. So hit that subscribe button, turn the notifications on. We got new fish videos every single week. I feel like I could probably just throw this guy in the sand bed for now. Come on. Uh, problem is where? Maybe right there. That'll do. Let's also go ahead and put these candy canes in the sand bed, but way on down yonder since they're uh, on the slow road to recovery. Stable conditions, hopefully they'll be all right. Magnus is always so fun. That guy is stocked up. This guy is just about empty except for that one uh, frog spawn that fell. I'm gonna glue this guy on first, I think. Although, I'm gonna maybe scoot it over a little. Look how much nicer that gold hammer looks now that it has like space to open up. Oh no guys, I just lifted this guy up and that bottom head is dead. Look at that. Turn the pumps off so that way it hopefully doesn't spread and we can get it out. Jeez, look at that. Definitely want to cut that off. So that's not great. And this doesn't usually go too well either. Okay. I think I'm going to leave this kind of flowing in here and see, uh, see how it does before gluing it back over there. There's a little bit of slime there I'm gonna suck out. I think it's just from the corals touching, but I wanna just get as much of that out as possible. Look at all that yuckiness we got out of there. So I actually changed my mind and I did glue it back. So the reason that I got rid of it, obviously one, to get rid of the frag rack, but I glued them back here and I spaced them out a little bit more. The right one looks like it wasn't affected at all. This one looks like the back of it might have been affected. The one that I cut off, the head that I cut off that died, was on that back half there. So I definitely wanna keep an eye on that other head on the left here. I might have to cut that one too uh, before it gets to the one on the right. So uh, the next couple days here is gonna be a, a true sign of just keeping an eye on it and seeing if it, you know, if it was just because it was actively on the, the coral that it was dying or if it's something something worse. We're looking so much better already. I love that little frag rack over there. You could barely see it. By the way, I'll have a link in the description for it if that's something you guys are interested in. Mr. Tang's already going in here and eating some of the, the gunk. But yeah, it doesn't look like anything crazy happened. It just looks like it, it fell there and killed that piece. Hopefully it will uh, come back pretty soon and we will be all right. I'm gonna add a little bit of coral minos. I don't do this too often, but I have been doing it occasionally to try to help with the uh, scully recovery and also it could help a little bit with uh what i just kind of fixed because it's good for tissues and stony corals for real for real these polishing pads are the truth look at this look at all that stuff that it caught this guy did not i'm telling you guys this changed the game for me we got a little copy pot in there look at that so good polishing pads fire that's crazy that thing's been in the tank for like literally five minutes and it's already opening and fluffing back up only a very small piece of that back one got touched you could tell the back one's opening up already too which is good and the house is back in order only one partial casualty while i was away and to be honest it probably wasn't even while i was away it was probably when i got back and i just wasn't paying attention and uh yeah gotta keep an eye on that frog spawn and make sure it doesn't get any worse i hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one later